How to force delete files that cannot be deleted in Windows. If you're trying to delete a file in Windows but it just won't go, there could be several reasons behind it. Like the file being in use, lacking permissions, being read only or protected, corrupted, infected with malware, having a long file path, or being a system protected file. Now how to delete files that cannot be deleted. Here are some effective methods to remove stubborn files in Windows. These issues have been around for years, often frustrating users. Let's jump into the solutions. There are several methods. Let's try first method. Close applications and processes to delete files that won't delete. First, let's try deleting the file manually. Right-click on the file and select Delete. As you can see, the file doesn't get deleted, and we get a message saying it's open in another application. To fix this, open Task Manager by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape. Look for the application that's currently using the file. In our case, the file is open in VLC Player, so we'll select that. Your app might be different, so make sure to find the correct one. Once selected, click on End Task to force close the application. Now, let's try deleting the file again. Right-click on the file and select Delete. And that's it. It should be removed now. If the first method didn't work, then let's try the second method, force deleting stubborn files using Command Prompt. First. Open the folder where your file is located, click on the address bar at the top, type CMD, and press Enter. This will open command prompt in that folder. Next, copy the full file name along with its extension. In CMD, type DEL, followed by the file name inside quotation marks. Make sure to include the correct file format. Press Enter, and that's it. Let's try third method. Scan the drive for errors to remove undeletable files. First, open Command Prompt as an administrator. Go to the Start menu, type CMD, right-click on it, and select Run as administrator. Now type the command. CHKDSKE semicolon space slash then F. Replace E with your actual drive letter if different. Press Enter. If it asks, would you like to force a dismount on this volume? Then type Y and press Enter. The scan will start and may take a few seconds to complete. Method 4. Take ownership and change file permissions to delete locked files. Let's try deleting the file first. Right click on it and select delete. As you can see, we don't have the required permission so click cancel. Now, right click on the file again and choose properties. Go to the security tab. Check the permissions for authenticated users. Make sure all permissions are set to allow. If not, click the edit button. Enable full control by checking allow and remove any deny permissions. Finally, click apply and then OK. To change file ownership, click on advanced. At the top, under the owner section, click change. In the new window, type everyone and click OK to confirm. Once done, click Apply. A message will appear. Just click OK. Then click OK again to close all windows. Now, try deleting the file again. And that's it. Method 5. Use Safe Mode to delete stubborn files. First, press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog. Type MS Config and click OK. In the System Configuration window, go to the Boot tab at the top, check the box for Safe Boot. Then click Apply and OK. Now click Restart to reboot your system into Safe Mode. Now that you're in Safe Mode, navigate to the folder where your file is located, then try deleting it. And that's it. While the previous methods are useful, they may not always work or can be a bit complicated. If you want a simpler and more reliable solution, try SysTools Data Wipe software. It's an offline, secure, and user-friendly tool that forcefully deletes stubborn files and ensures they can be recovered. You can find the download link in the description. Once downloaded, 
simply install the software on your system. First, review the data that we want to permanently delete. This is the data we'll wipe. Now, launch the SysTools data wipe software. This is the interface of the SysTools data wipe software. Using this tool, you can securely erase data from various types of storage systems. By selecting the disk option, you can wipe entire hard drives or SSDs. The partition option lets you erase specific drives like C, D, or E. The pen drive option is for external devices such as USB drives and SD cards. Additionally, the file and folder option allows you to wipe specific files or folders. For this demonstration, we'll proceed with the file and folder option. You can select whichever option suits your needs by simply clicking on it. Once you choose the file and folder option, you'll be prompted to select the items you want to wipe. There are two choices. You can either select folder option for one or multiple folders, which is helpful for larger sets of data, or choose select file option for individual files if you only need to erase specific items. For this example, we'll go with the folder selection, though you can choose the file option if needed. Now select the folder that you want to erase permanently. After selecting the folder you want to wipe, click the OK button to confirm your selection. Then, click the Next button at the bottom of the screen to proceed. Now, you need to select a data wipe method. Simple methods are fast but offer basic level security. Standard methods provide a good balance between speed and effectiveness. They take a bit more time but give better results. Complex methods take the longest but offer the highest level of security, making the data completely unrecoverable by any software or method. For this demonstration, we'll go with the simple method, zero. Users can choose a different option based on their requirements. After selecting the wipe method, click the wipe button at the bottom to proceed. A warning message will appear, stating that all selected data will be permanently deleted. Click yes to continue. The tool will ask for confirmation once again to ensure you're sure about proceeding. Click yes again. Once the process is complete, a message will confirm that the wipe was successful. You'll also be asked if you want to generate a report. If you'd like a report of the wipe process, click yes. The report displays the file names along with their paths. In the right columns, you'll see the folder size, and the last column shows wipe status, which shows as completed. Below, the total file count is displayed. Here, it's 1982. The success count also shows 1982, and the failed count is zero indicating that all files were wiped successfully. The report also mentions the wipe method used, which in this case is zero, one pass. You can save this report by clicking the Save Report button at the bottom. Now it's time to check the folder that was wiped. Open the folder. And as you can see, it's empty. And that's it. That's how you can force delete files that cannot be deleted in Windows using these methods.